Right here we have a genuine Odem RPG Royal Oak watch currently valued at about 13,000 USD and the replica AP Royal Oak that costs about 500 USD. Guess which is the genuine watch, left or right, and leave us a comment below with the reason of your choice. Then stick with us to find out if your answer is correct. Hi guys, welcome to a new video guide on how to authenticate popular watches. Today we are going to take a close look at the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. This beautiful watch is an icon for the Audemars Piguet brand and its value increased a lot in the last years. It currently has a reselling price that is 4 times higher than what you would have paid for the same piece 10 years ago. Whether you buy this watch for your collection, for its design or as an investment, you are definitely making a good choice. However, since replicas get better and better, we wanted to offer you the most important suggestions on what to look after when buying a second hand of the Marpigue, in order not to get scammed. Right here we have two Royal Oaks, a 15,300 and 15,400 version. The main differences consist of a smaller case, fifth design elements and the major difference, the 15,300 is the genuine watch, while the 15,400 is the replica version. So, if earlier you chose the watch on the left as being the genuine watch, you were correct. Now let me give you a quick rundown on the details that we are going to discuss and analyze today. First, we are going to analyze the case thickness, and we will explain the differences between the genuine and the replica watch's case thickness. Then we are going to analyze the Tremark dial tapestry. We are going to show you how the genuine looks like. We are also going to analyze the size of the screws on the bezel, while highlighting the differences that can be found on the replica items. Next, we will inspect the engraved details on the back of the watch, those that are to be found on the case, as well as those that are visible on the movement through the transparent case back. The fit and finishing of the bracelet will also be discussed for our next step and we will let you know what imperfections to look after. Another important aspect to look after has to do with all the text present on the dial. Even if it is not a crowded dial, you still have small but important things to analyze. The crown logo will also be compared between the genuine and the replica watches. Last but not least, we will inspect the clasp, again highlighting the differences between the two watches. Case thickness. It is a known fact that replica manufacturers are doing their best to replicate not only the watch's design, but also its movement. However, they of course do not manage to do this in the most successful way. And this is very much reflected in the size of the movement, that also affects the size of the case. Therefore, when authenticating an Odemar Piguet Royal Oak, get familiar with the genuine case thickness and make sure it is the same with the one that you are holding in your hands. You will need a special tool, like this one, which is a digital caliper, to accurately measure the case thickness. For the 15,400 replica royal look that we have here today, we can measure a thickness of 10.7 mm, which is incorrect for this model as it should have 9.8 mm, so a difference of almost 1 mm. The 15,300 royal look, which is a genuine watch, has the correct case thickness of 9.4 mm. Remember that these numbers on the case thickness can be found on the official website in order to cross-check them. Dial Tapestry The dial has the Audemars Piguet trademark tapestry design. It is a uniquely crafted design that requires special tools in order to deliver the highest quality. Replica manufacturers get this aspect pretty close, but still, if you take a very close look at it, you will see it is by far not perfectly replicated and it still has a lot of imperfections. See for yourself in the pictures on the screen how a genuine Audemars Piguet Royal Oak dial looks like in comparison with the replicated one. Size of the screws on the bezel 
The bezel of the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak has 8 screws with a specific design. When inspecting the replica watch next to the genuine item, you can see that the screws are kind of bigger, fully filling the hole in which they are fitted. At the same time, the genuine item presents screws with a slightly smaller size so as to present a super super tiny empty space between the screws and the holes in which those are fitted. It might be a bit more difficult to look after this tail if you do not have both items, the replica and the genuine item, one next to another. However, feel confident to get back to this video guide and the images we shared. Engraved details on the movement and on the case back. The Odemar Piguet Royal Oak has a transparent case back. Through it you can partially see the movement, the rotor being kind of the centerpiece that is fully visible. The rotor has some specific engravings which on the genuine item will always be of the highest quality due to the best materials being used as well as the best tools. The replica manufacturers however do have to use cheaper materials and tools so the final poor product will present the same cheaper quality. Since we are holding the watches upside down, another aspect to look after are the engravings on the case back. The Royal Oak has its model name as well as the serial number and reference number engraved on the case back. Take a look at those engravings on the case back. Make sure those are present and consistent throughout the entire case back. If anything looks suspicious, it might be the case, the most probable case, that you are holding a replica item in your hands. The fit and finishing of the bracelet. The fit and finishing of the bracelet will also always present the best quality. Make sure nothing feels or looks inconsistent. Take a closer look using a magnifier or even the camera on your mobile phone and make sure everything looks perfect. Small spots of rust like those that are visible today on our replica 15400 are definitely red flags. For the next step we will get back at the watch's dial, specifically we will analyze the text present on the dial. Even if the old MRP get does not have a very crowded dial, meaning it doesn't have a lot of elements, neither a lot of text, remember that the devil is in the details. So take a very close look at all the letters printed on the dial as well. Make sure that those are not fading out and are actually presenting a high quality, being fully consistent. Anything else can be a definite sign of a replica watch. On the watch's crown you will find the Audemars Piguet logo engraved, which is designed using the letters A and P. Again, using a magnifier or your mobile phone's camera, zoom in on this engraving and make sure it has a correct depth and presents a high quality. Clasp logo. Last but not least, the logo on the clasp should also be inspected. Get familiar with the model that you are authenticating since the clasp can have a different design. For example, the 15300 Royal Oak has a different clasp design in comparison with the 15400 Royal Oak. However, in any case, all of the elements that make up the clasp should be extremely consistent and present no flow like those that we are highlighting using the images on the screen taken from the replica item. Thank you for watching this new video guide on the elegant Audemars Piguet Royal Log. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you found the information extremely useful and easy to apply. You can at any time get back to this video guide in order to get assistance while authenticating an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak watch as well as to our written guide that is available for free on our website. The link is available in the description below. In case you need further assistance, our authentication team can happily assist you with the authentication service available on our website. We will continue to upload more video guides on how to authenticate different popular watch models, so please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to turn on your notifications. In case you have a specific watch model that you would like us to cover in an upcoming video guide, please leave us a comment below with its name and reference number, and we will do our best to have it available for you. Don't forget that we are also destroying the replicas that are being used in the video authentication guides. We destroyed those items in different funny or interesting ways while recording it and sharing this content with you. So check it up on our YouTube channel. Thank you once again and see you soon. Goodbye!